Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. However, in general, liability for retaliating, or taking the law into one's own hands, is just as severe as any other illegal act. It is almost a certainty that the state will prosecute the Vigilante.8 May 2019. Let's help you make your mark. Well, yes, it's illegal, but it seems as if Batman has been deputized. At first, government officials and law enforcement were ordered to fire on Batman because they thought he was a villain, like Joker. But then they realized that Batman is a hero, like Superman. Let's help you make your mark. Members have been known to orchestrate attacks against known, suspected fascist individuals. The attacks usually involve damaging property, or even attacking the person themselves. Operating since 2002, perverted-justice.com opponents have accused the website of being modern-day cyber vigilantes. Take our lead. Batman was originally introduced as a ruthless vigilante who frequently killed or maimed criminals, but evolved into a character with a stringent moral code and strong sense of justice. Unlike most superheroes, Batman does not possess any superpowers, instead relying on his intellect, fighting skills, and wealth. Take our lead. Greg Saunders. Greg Saunders is the first fictional character known as the Vigilante that appeared in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character was one of the first DC Comics characters adapted for live action film, beating Superman by one year. Make your mark, take our lead. A vigilante has to take the offensive against a lawbreaker to be considered a vigilante. Although not technically defined as this, a superhero is a person who uses their abilities, usually superhuman ones, to protect people. Batman is a vigilante. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.